What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I've got a beauty favorites video for you. So if you want to see this video, then keep on watching. Let's get right into it guys. My first product I have for you today is this Eve Loam Rescue Mask. This isn't just a monthly favorite, this is an all-time favorite, and I'm obsessed with this mask. I'm just gonna open up so you can kind of see. It's got a little bit of the natural separation, and, and this stuff is a clay mask, if you can see. I use this maybe once or even twice a week, just to kind of maintain, and it's this thick, creamy clay mask, and I can't even explain it, but when you put this on your skin, you can immediately feel it working. It's tingling and repairing your face. I think it puts pulls a lot of the impurities out, and it also keeps my face really hydrated, and I just feel super, super refreshed like I've been to the spa after I put this on. You don't have to leave it on necessarily too, too long. It's a clay mask, so as it starts to dry, that's when you can take it off, but I kind of even use this as a spot treatment and I will if I have a breakout I'll put it on that breakout overnight and I'll just spot treat it like this and I promise you it comes right like you wake up in the morning like you'd never even had a pimple and you just wash it off. I'll link all these products down below for you guys so you can shop them if you want to. This is an amazing brand and they've got a lot of skin cleansers and other types of masks as well, things for the lips. If, if you watch my summer beauty favorites video I'll link it above. I talk about the Kiss Mix, that's also from Eve Loam, and you can get that as well on their website. Next up guys, I've got this blush, this is from the brand Tarte, and it's in the color Celebrated. I have tried to find this blush online before, and I couldn't find it on the website. I bought this from Ulta during the Black Friday sale, and it came as a package, and I think it's actually a holiday color that's celebrated name kind of sounds like one of those holiday type vibes but i'm just going to show you it's the most beautiful pale rosy pink blush and i have it on now and it is a great everyday blush for you to be able to wear it's lightly pigmented so it's really buildable so it's not going to be too overpowering or too pink or too rose and i like that it's really compact and you can take it with you wherever next product I have for you are these set of 10 makeup brushes through the brand Nordic Beauty. These are similar to the Artiste makeup brushes. They're a synthetic brush, so it's no animal hair. It's completely cruelty-free, and they're super soft and luxurious. I use majority of the time I use the bigger ones for my foundation, and then the smaller ones I'll do like under eye work or using them for my eye makeup or something really concentrated that I wanna, you know, maybe contour, chisel out my jawline or something like that. But these are the softest, like, I don't even know if you can see, but there are so many hairs in here and you really get that your brush is not gonna absorb your product kind of thing. So normally a beauty blender or something similar to a beauty blender will absorb a lot of your product and you end up wasting a lot of your product Whereas I like to put my foundation on with a brush because I find that you're going to get the max amount of your product out and it gives a really flawless finish. And I know a lot of times people say brushes will leave streak marks on your face with the foundation, but that's because you're using a brush that has not enough bristles in it. These are so tightly packed and it is such a soft brush. I'll link the brand down below where you can find it online. But this brand, I can't speak for the, the rest, but this Nordic Beauty brand, they, and they come in this beautiful rose gold color, which I love because if you're like me, I keep all my makeup brushes out on my vanity, and I like it to look nice. And they've got a nice little rubber handle, so they're not going to get grimy and gross. And they're really easy to clean as well. Next up, I have a dry bar product. This one's called the Blonde Ale, and it's a brightening shampoo. Any blonde natural blonde or a fake blonde will know what this is. It's your traditional purple shampoo and I've just popped the lid there and you can see how purple this is. I'm just going to kind of show you but basically these help counteract brassiness and this is a really really great shampoo. It smells great. The brand is great. The smells kind of like a like a mint so it's really a way it's almost like caffeinates your hair in a sense. You feel that real tingle feeling and you really feel like you're getting your hair clean as well. 
And the first time I used this product, believe it or not, I'm a natural blonde. So when I used it, my hair literally changed colors. It was this brassy, yellowy blonde. And I used this shampoo and it brought it back to that beautiful, true, ashy blonde. It was really, really great quality. I use it probably only once a week, maybe even once every other week just as maintenance. But it's a great shampoo and if you haven't invested in a purple shampoo yet, try this one out. I'll link it down below. It's about 20-ish dollars. So for a good quality salon, quality shampoo, you're going to probably look at be paying something around that anyway. Next up guys, I've got a body scrub and this one's from the brand Jo Malone and this is just the vitamin E body scrub. You can pick it up at any Saks or the Jo Malone stores. This stuff, I've, okay, I've had this for six months now and I've only gone through half. This stuff smells amazing. It's really um, viscous and thick and it's got like a sugary type feel so it's nothing that's gonna be too super abrasive with your skin but I'll take a big swipe out of this two times a week every week and really hydrate and exfoliate my body it emulsifies into a liquid and just melts the day away and really exfoliates that dead skin off of your body and when you shower and rinse this off it's gonna all the oil is gonna stay so then when I get out of the shower and I pat my skin dry with a towel, I'll, more, I'll rub all that oil into my elbows and my cuticles. And this is a really great everyday body scrub. It's not fragranced like their perfumes. It just literally smells like vitamin E and just pure happiness. Next up guys, I've got a product from Tom Ford. This is the Complexion Enhancing Primer. And I got it in the color 02 Peach Glow. It twists up like this. And I'm just going to show you, I usually use two pumps for the face, but I'm just going to show you one pump for now. It kind of has this like, like they say, peachy glow. And it is great to use if you're just going to run out to the store and you don't want to put a full foundation on. It kind of, as you can see, gave my skin a little bit of a tan, if you will. But it really kind of warms up that skin tone. So if you're one who self tans like me, your skin on your face and your neck is not going to be the same color as your body seven days a week. So this is a great one if you're kind of in between tans or whatever and you need your face to look a little bit darker and you don't want to use a lot of foundation and bronzer and whatnot. This is a really good primer for you to look into. Next up guys, I've got a lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. This one's in the color Super Cindy. I found this through another beauty blogger as well and I just love it. And this is kind of like a brownie nude. I will swatch it for you here, but it's a matte and I really like the way that it goes on. It's really creamy, it's not super drying and I find that I get a lot of compliments when I wear this color and people are always curious about it. And it's such a cute little packaging, this beautiful rose gold. I mean, if you were to set that on your counter with some of these beautiful little Nordic brushes, it's just quite a sweet little vibe. Yeah, I use this as pretty much my everyday lipstick at the moment. I'm looking forward to getting more of these. I order them online through charlottetilbury.com, but I will link everything for you down below so you can shop what you wanna shop and find what you like. Also, I find as a blonde, I'm a, more of on the fair side than I am a bronzy tan. This is a great color because sometimes when you're blonde and you're trying, or you're fair skinned, and you're trying to find a nude that's true nude, and you, they always end up being a lot darker on the body. This one is a really pretty everyday brownie nude for you guys. Um, so if you're out there in the market for a nude, this is a great one. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you found this video fun to watch or informative on some products that you've been looking for or looking into buying or you found something new that you're gonna get. When you guys will be watching this, I'll be overseas in Europe, so stay tuned. There'll be some vlogs coming your way. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new, subscribe. Send me some comments down below. Tell me what you like the best, what you wanna see next, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.